So as you guys seen in a few videos back, this sucks because we have a massive crack that goes from here all the way to there. The more boost we make, the bigger that crack gets, and it's probably opening up like that, and then all our boost assist is going out like this. I had it welded up. It ended up holding there, but I'm pretty sure the throttle body is now leaking too. So to fix all of that in one run, I got a new intake and a new throttle body, and here she is. It is a carbon fibre intake gonna be a little bit bigger than that one and i'm not sure how much i'm gonna like it being super high up like that but we're gonna get this thing off there plop that thing on there see what it looks like and then we're gonna have to fab up this new charge pipe wasn't even that bad. I think I poured about a freaking gallon of E85 down this port right here. She's uh, nice and soaked. So uh, we'll see how that startup goes. Hopefully it evaporates a little before uh, we get ready to start this thing up. But that thing is off there. Man, sitting next to this thing kind of looks like a piece of shit now. I thought this thing was pretty cool, but that thing right there, god damn. Let me uh, get this thing cleaned up a little bit and then we'll set that new intake on there to see what it looks like. I'm pretty excited about this part. Holy shit. It almost like it's just meant to be. <laughs> it looks freaking amazing. It doesn't sit as far up and obnoxious as I thought. All right, now that we know what it looks like on there, I need to take that back off there. I'm about to transfer over, obviously my injectors and then fuel lines to see if those are gonna work. And then also I gotta put these, these are billet fuel rails that came with it. So we need to put those on the new intake, get all that stuff transferred over. Hopefully my fuel line that I fabbed up here, this monstrosity of fittings and everything, will work still with the spacing that was on that intake. I've got a new Motion Raceworks throttle body coming in tomorrow because this one I figured out was also leaking. There's a little bushing or something that goes right there where the, where the shaft goes in. And I've used a smoke machine and it was rolling out right in there. <laughs> So I figured out a problem. This is the injector that came out of that intake and that little O-ring right there is small, but what what's going on is I set it in here and as you can see, it just falls in there and it's kind of loose. You can kind of shake it around. So I needed a thicker O-ring right there, ended up finding one. So this one has the new thicker O-ring and throw it down in there and it actually pops in there and is nice and tight. So I'm gonna switch out all of these O-rings on every single one of these injectors, get these fuel rails on, and then hopefully this thing will match up like it did on the other one. Jesus. I hope you threw a rod doing that. Anyway, hopefully this thing works, so we're gonna find out. ever dealt with fuel lines on a race car you guys know it's a disaster every time you change one thing you have to change 10 things so what i'm dealing with is i had a fuel line built that went from fuel rail to fuel rail obviously it can't be that easy to where i could just use that one and put it on this the spacing is different so i'm building a whole new one but i'm gonna do a little bit different this time i'm gonna put a 90 here go over to that t with 8 a in and then it'll reduce up to 10 a in right here which will be my inlet from the fuel pump so 
Working on putting these together, uh, I'm fully prepared to cut the hell out of my fingers because PTFE braided line sucks. All right, that worked out pretty dang good. It just reduces down to 8 a.m. to go to both the fuel rails, and then this reduces up to 10 a.m. right there. So get that put in there. Make sure this clears the firewall still. That's the only issue that I think I could have. And then I got to shorten these up just a little bit to get those to my fuel rails. I got me one of those... Fancy icon throttle bodies from Motion Raceworks, and man, this thing is sexy. Well, guys, got carried away, and now the intake is done. The feed fuel lines are done, and the fuel lines go into the regulator to the rails are done. Uh, the intake is tied down, got the bracket, the throttle cable bracket on there. I got everything hooked up. So now I'm basically to a point where I need to cut, where'd it go? Oh, cut this pipe and uh, this one sits a little higher. So I need to cut that little angle off there. And I'm gonna have to weld an extension onto this to go right into that flange right there. So we're about to test out my aluminum welding skills again. That one was a little rough the first couple times, but she uh, she held, so that's the main thing. I'm gonna get that cut and see if we can weld that thing together. This flange, I'm basically gonna have one run at it, otherwise it's ruined, so pressure's on, but let's do it. So I got this charge pipe cut off, and it cleaned up so I can weld it eventually. So that's what I gotta make up, the space from there to that flange. So I got this piece, it's the best thing I got. Um, so I'm gonna cut this piece off. I got it um, nice and straight and uh, trimmed down there to where that's gonna slide in there. And I got it measured to where that's two and three eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna chop this mf -er off right there and then get it to where it'll slide in between there perfect. Probably gonna have to do some fancy shaving to get it that angle right. But then I'm gonna have to break out my welding skills that I don't have and weld that up. Well, a CC weld there and right there. So wish me luck. Let's uh, get this thing chopped up and then we'll see if we can fit her in there. sign to just keep trying because look at this this is where i started my night off with that hunk of garbage and then i ended up this is where i finished the night off with still not perfect but it's some serious progress you guys probably won't believe me because i didn't video it but that is my first official c seam weld completely done and honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. It ain't perfect, but for a rookie, that ain't too bad. So we're gonna, I got that tacked up, the actual flange. So I'm gonna weld that all the way around. And then and this thing is gonna be ready to put on there for the last time. And uh, hopefully start this thing up here pretty soon so I can get the tune dialed for this weekend because we're gonna go to the track and run a PB. <laughs> talk about that one quite as much but hey <laughs> she's gonna hold so i'll let that cool down we'll bolt her back up there and uh one step closer to starting this thing up here pretty soon the next couple seconds for you guys all right guys well i got this thing running everything's working fine finally ended up having to get a new idle air control sensor i have a feeling the seal was the problem the whole time but it's running a hell of a lot better now. That's been a problem even before the intake actually. So uh, looking at the tune here, see it's comping 14%, which is a lot, actually 21. So I'm gonna go drive it around, see if I can get this tune a lot better. Just gonna tune it in the mall parking lot here. So 
after this clip, I ended up heading home and trying to dial in the tune as best I could. It still was dying when I went into gear, but I really wanted to go to the track to try to chase some time because I'm trying to hit a four second pass by the end of this year. So I gotta do everything I can, but I made a video of going to the track and that will be for next week's video. Thanks for watching guys and come back next week to see what we tear up. I'll see you later.